The story we have been investigating has been of the homecoming queen who died on the stairs and is now searching for her crown throughout the old Baser High School. There have been many reports of paranormal activity since then. Whether or not they are all linked is unknown. One of the more recent reports came from one of our staff members, Tammy Potts, who recalls the incident vividly. I was uh, working on a project late on a Sunday night and needed to get back into the sixth grade building to finish that project. It, after church, I had my, my little preschooler with me, and together we went in there. We um, went into the building on the north end, unlocked the code to get into the building, and then afterwards I made sure that door was securely locked behind me. So for all intents and purposes, I just wanted it to be my son and I in the building, and I wanted to know that it was my son and I. You have to walk down that hallway when you first come into the building to turn on the lights at the south end of the staircase. And when I went to go from the, the security code box to down there to where I needed to turn on that light, as I was passing by those big gym doors, they were all standing wide open. And before I got to the end of the hallway to turn on the light, I could hear one of those doors slam shut. And the sound just echoed throughout the building. I came to a complete standstill. I was holding on to Logan's hand, so I knew he was right next to me. Um, I looked back and none of those doors had been shut. They were all still standing open. Um, needless to say, I hurried up the stairs, flipped the light on, went on upstairs to the youth friend office. And it's in that old office upstairs where the principal's office used to be. And it's sometimes a counselor's office, sometimes it was a nurse's office. Well, in the early 2000s, it was the youth friend's office. And I went in there to finish up a grant. I had to have it uh, completed by midnight. And it was late. It was already getting dark outside. I turned on the light um, after I unlocked my office door, and Logan started coloring, and I started working on that grant. I had only been in there just a few, few minutes when the lights completely went out. The lights in the hallway, the lights in my office, the power to the computer, it all went dead. And the heater began making a really uh, awful racket. I just started talking to the air at that point and said, I get it. You need me to get out of here, but I need to get this finished. So I promise you it won't take long. If you'll just give me a few minutes, I'll do this and get out of here. The lights came back on. And when they came back on, my computer did a very odd thing. The monitor screen turned from a deep blue, and it just was like a wave that went up to the top of the monitor. It was very, uh, it was very unusual. I've never seen it, anything like it even since. Uh, the, the, the heater stopped making that noise, and there was just this moment of, wow, it hit me. And I turned to look at Logan, and Logan is looking at the doorway, and there's nothing there. I just said, okay, I'm done. You win. Turned off the computer, and I grabbed Logan by the hand, and we left. We went down the stairs, turned off the lights, went on down across that long hallway in the dark, and then I punched the code back in and went back out. And I have never been back in that building after dark. The IMB TV crew begins their investigation by setting up various types of audio equipment in an attempt to find the evidence supporting the spirit theory. What we've learned from most ghost hunting shows on television these days is that you can record ghosts on audio with professional microphones. We've set up bars right there so that we can try to capture the spirit of the homecoming queen. We'll leave it here overnight and we'll come back and see what we got in the morning.
very underneath the gym floor. Despite all of our investigations, the only piece of evidence to support the spirit theory is a single photo, taken during our search of the room next to the stairs. The search for the elusive crown was unsuccessful. I guess her ghost will be forever haunting the halls of Baser High School, looking for her lost crown. Don't bring that ghost down to my door I don't wanna see them in 